All right. So did you finish all of your work from this week that you needed to get done um, and all of today's work? I hope so, because that means we can move on to the STEM challenge. Now, the STEM challenge today is actually a counting collection. Um, this is one of my favorite parts of the year in school because I pull out all of my counting collections. Um, but we're at home, so I sent one home with you this year. Um, you need to look at the baggie and you need to make an estimation, okay? I want you to estimate how many beads there are in here, okay? Estimate means make a smart guess. Is there a bazillion in here? No, okay? Um, is there gonna be more than a thousand in here? I know some of you love that number, but we've never actually practiced counting that high, so probably not. So take a guess, look in there, try and guess how many you think there are. Now, because it's a smart guess, do you have to be right? No, it's okay to be wrong. But sometimes it's just fun to see, okay? So you'll make your smart guess and you'll write it down anywhere on any piece of paper, in your journal, wherever you want. And then I want you to take it out and count them and see if you got it right, okay? So I haven't opened mine out yet and I didn't count yours. So I don't actually know how many are in each one. I just used a little scooper cup and I scooped them in. So you might have more or less than me or your neighbor, or not your neighbor, but your classmates. Um, so go ahead and make that smart guess. I'm gonna look at mine and I'm gonna say, what is that, like about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm gonna guess uh, 112. That's my guess, 112. And I'm gonna write that down on the corner of my math paper from earlier. Just gonna write it down in the corner, okay? See that? There it is, 112. That's what I think I have in here. And now I'm gonna count it, okay? And you can watch me count it. Then, after we count it, we have another challenge that's a little bit more fun uh, than counting, okay? So go ahead and make your smart guess, check your count, see if you were close, and then I'll show you the next part. All right, I am going to show you um, how I am going to count mine. Um, remember, my guess was 112, so I'm going to start putting mine into groups of 10. And, oh boy, they, they really roll everywhere. So maybe even like a paper plate would be a good idea if you're just now pouring yours out, okay? Oh, I love Fridays. I love having a little less um, of the hard work on Fridays and getting our things done so that we can have some fun. All right, so after you pour yours out, go ahead and start. Oh my word, they just are rolling. Maybe my table's not evenly keeled. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Um, I like to put things in groups of 10. It really makes it easier. Now we've done this before and I don't know if any of you remember, but we used groups of 10 when we were counting our pennies for store. You guys remember? It makes it really easy to count your money when you put your pennies into groups of 10. Oh boy, that one just went right over to the wrong pile. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm having trouble. Make sure you put them on like a plate or something. So they can't roll away. <laughs> All right. And that's the 10th one there. There we go. I have two piles of 10. I might have to set mine standing straight up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and work on mine. You start working on yours. Put them into groups of 10 and see if you got the answer right. Oh my word, that was so much work, mostly because they kept, oh, all right. So that was a lot of work, mostly because they kept rolling away. But as you can see, a few of them rolled again, but each pile was 10. And then I had these four left over that couldn't make a new group of 10. You see that? So I'm going to count them out loud by tens now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151, 152, 153, and 154. 
This guy was just a stowaway from that one. <laughs> there he goes again. All right, 154 was my final answer, which was pretty far off from my original guess of 112. Remember, we do this, we put things in groups of 10 to help us organize our items. If we try to count from one all the way to 154, I might have lost count at some point, and then I'd have to start all over if I messed up. This makes it a lot easier to count all of your objects. All right, now once you're done counting, we're gonna move on to another um, activity. So go ahead and pause the video so we can move on. All right, now that you've counted your beads, were you close on your guess? Um, we are going to do a stacking challenge. These are so little, right? So little. Now, even though they're cylinders, one side, one, uh, not one side, two of the faces are flat, which means you can stand them up. How many can you stack on top of each other before it falls down? Now, it's important when you do this that you count as you go. Because if you stop counting and you try to count when it starts to wobble, it might fall down before you finish counting. And you don't want that to happen. So try stacking it. And I would love a picture. This one might be hard because it's going to fall down. Try and get it as high as you can before it wobbles. Take a picture of yourself with it. I love when you guys are in the pictures with your projects. And send it to me. And I'll try to put another video together like I did last week with the music and all of you guys together, okay? So go ahead and get started on that. I'm starting mine now. And I've only got it to four so far. Let me see if I can get five. Five. Ooh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get six. And I'll show you what I mean by stacking them on top of each other, okay? I got six. I'm going to keep going, but I wanted to show you. Look at that. See how it's all stacked together? Let me see if I can get a better shot than that. See? All stacked together. Okay, and I'm going to keep going, and I'll take a picture of mine too and put it in the video, all right? Good luck, guys. I hope you're able to stack them high. I forgot to add. When you're stacking, no taping, no gluing, okay? No holding it. They're just stacked, all right? I think you guys knew that, but I wanted to be sure. All right, good luck.